Blessed are you, sovereign Lord, to you be praise and glory forever. Your prophet, John the Baptist, was witness to the truth as a burning and shining light. May we, your servants, rejoice in his light and so be led to witness to him who is the Lord of our coming kingdom, Jesus, our Saviour and King of the ages. Amen. Welcome to our hymns and prayers for the third Sunday in Advent. Today from St Mary's Church, Little Samford. We're now at the midpoint of Advent. Over the past two weeks, our candles have been lit for the patriarchs and prophets of the Old Testament. Now, as we look towards Christmas, our guides on the journey are two people who were very much closer to Jesus. Today, we remember his cousin, John the Baptist, who prepared the way, and next week, his mother Mary, through whom he came into the world. John the Baptist stands between the Old and New Testaments, the last of the Old Testament prophets and the first of the witnesses of the New Testament. The Gospel calls him a bright and shining light, and yet he came as a witness to the true light. John fends off the questions as to whether he is actually the Messiah or maybe a reincarnation of the prophet Elijah. He makes absolutely clear both to the authorities and to his followers that he is the voice prophesied by Isaiah crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. And he always points beyond himself to the one who would come after, the one whose sandal he was not worthy to untie, the one who one day would kneel in the dust and untie the sandals of his own disciples and wash their feet. John recognised Jesus as the Lamb of God through whom would come the world's salvation. John the Baptist was not simply walking about with a sandwich board. He shouted his message that God is about to come among us and he's asking all of us to do something about it to clear the way in our own lives and help others do the same. Advent is a time of preparation, getting ready for the extraordinary intervention of God in the world which we celebrate at Christmas. The hymn we have just heard looks backwards to the passing ages praying for the coming of God, but also forward to the daybreak of that promised day. For lo, already on the hills the flags of dawn appear. But this is not a spectator sport. We are all called to be prophet souls, like John the Baptist before us, as we approach Christmas to proclaim as he did, that day is near. The third Sunday of Advent is a day of rejoicing. We have the uncompromising message of John to prepare ourselves, but he also gives us hope of joy as we move closer to the light. The day in whose clear shining light all wrong shall stand revealed, when justice shall be throned in might and every hurt be healed. And so let us pray. Living God, we rejoice and give thanks today for those who, like John the Baptist, have the courage to speak out alone for what they believe to be right. Today is a day to remember the voices in the wilderness, the witnesses, those who are persecuted for their faith those with vision and determination and willingness to be a transforming presence to the world around them. Those who have concern for others and who reach out into the darkness of the world. 
As we look forward to the light, we pray for families about to celebrate Christmas, for students returning home and children soon coming to the end of term. As we meet again, may we all remain in your constant love, strength and protection. We pray for those still unable to see their families and friends at Christmas, the bereaved and all who are grieving, lonely and isolated, all who are worried about their work and finances, those who are approaching Christmas with anxiety about what the coming year might bring. As winter draws in, we pray for anyone cold and hungry, for those who are homeless, lost, sleeping on the streets. And we give thanks for the work of the charities and food banks who sustain them. Christ, our Advent hope, as we look forward to the coming of your kingdom, inspire and help us to bring it about in our lives. May we meet the challenge of John the Baptist to proclaim your message to the world and may your glory be revealed in us. Amen. May God the Father, judge all merciful, make you worthy of a place in his kingdom. May God the Son, coming among us in power, reveal in your midst the promise of his glory. May God the Holy Spirit make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope and constant in love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.